All right, I'm ready. The small screen has already offered its fair share of unforgettable animated creations in this half decade. I can't abide bureaucracy. I don't like being told where to go and what to do. I consider it a violation. Did you get those seeds all the way up your butt? Yeah, Rick. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable TV cartoon characters of the 2010s so far. Aren't we headed the wrong way? Don't want to lead them back to the ship. Follow me. For this list, we're looking at the animated small screen characters that have made a significant critical and cultural impact throughout the first half of the 2010s. How would you feel about coming to live with us? What? I can't even imagine what you've been through. To be clear, we're including both cartoons meant for children and for adults. Good news though, Morty. This whole thing's gonna be over really soon. What? It's a dream, Morty. We're in your dog's dream. We're also including shows that began during the 2009-2010 TV season, as technically, this means its first season was being broadcast during 2010 as well. Number 10. Kanan Jarrus, Star Wars Rebels What did you hope to gain by coming here? You're clever. <laughs> Figure it out! The leader of the Ghost Starships crew, Kanan is a great character addition to the Star Wars canon, and has provided Freddie Prince Jr. with his best role since the 90s. You can keep the lightsaber you stole, let it become just another dusty souvenir, or you can give it back and come with us. Come with me and be trained in the ways of the Force. You can learn what it truly means to be a Jedi. Described as a cowboy Jedi, Kanan is a different sort of Jedi than we're used to, as he prefers not to fight and avoids it when possible. So, you are the Jedi in question? Whatever you want from me, you won't get it. A survivor of Order 66, Kanan also has a fantastic but tragic backstory, making him a more human figure than many of the characters in the Star Wars universe. We have to move forward, and when the time comes, we have to be ready to sacrifice for something bigger. Number 9. Mikasa Ackerman, Attack on Titan Another character with a tragic background, Mikasa is the strong and silent type, which is unusual for a female character, and makes her that much more memorable. That word gonna come from beyond the grave. <laughs> After her parents were killed, Mikasa becomes stoic and withdrawn, but is pushed to fight back by Attack on Titan's protagonist, Eren, which gives her a solid backstory and motivation for her character. I've lost any reason to live. What keeps pushing me? Fight! She's also very protective, especially towards Eren, which makes us care for her and the heart she brings to the series. Because if I die, these memories of you die with me. That's why I'll do whatever it takes to win, whatever it takes to live! Meanwhile, the fact that she's a tragic figure makes her a more mature and enticing character than we've seen in other animated series. You're absolutely right, sir. Guess it's what you call the greater good. Still, sometimes it's not the life or the death of a soldier that makes the biggest difference. Don't you even dare! Number 8. Garnet, Steven Universe Steven! Another strong female character, Garnet is the toughest looking and most physically intimidating member of Crystal Gem, and as such, it's not surprising that she took over as leader from Rose. You can link your mind with the energy of all existing matter, channeling the collective power of the universe through your gem, which results in... At least that's my way of doing it. Rarely speaking more than a few words at a time, she's even more strong and silent than Mikasa Ackerman. And while Garnet comes across as serious most of the time, she actually has a playful attitude, especially towards her student, Steven. Let's keep going. All right, but be careful. You might trigger a trap with that gun show. She's a great role model for children, showing female empowerment and leadership abilities, all while being fun and exciting for kids and adults alike. <sighs> Now that was a pretty close one. Number 7. Rick Sanchez, Rick and Morty I'm gonna accomplish great things, Morty, and you're gonna be part of them. And together we're gonna run around, Morty, we're gonna do all kinds of wonderful things, Morty. A genius scientist. There certainly seems to be a lot of them in cartoons, doesn't there? Well, you're really gonna flip your lid over this one. Rick is hilarious, but definitely not a character you'd want your kids watching on TV. Rick and Morty forever and forever, 100 years, Rick and Morty some things. Me and Rick and Morty running around and... 
Rick and Morty time! He is a raging alcoholic, to the point where his family worries about the safety of his grandson, Morty. And he often displays intense bouts of sociopathic tendencies. Holy crap, Morty! He can travel through dreams! He can travel through dreams! We're so screwed! That said, he is extremely intellectual, often taking part in space travel, which gives the show some of its fun. Well, it's possible that your dog became self-aware and made modifications on the cognition amplifier, then turned on Jerry Beth and Summer after learning about humanity's cruel subjugation of his species, but your guess is as good as mine, Morty. Rick and Morty is a cartoon for adults, and the mature character of Rick is perfect if you want to laugh along at his insane behavior. Listen, I'm Rick Sanchez from Earth Dimension C-137. Don't mean you any harm. Coming in peace. It's all cool in the, uh, good in the neighborhood is what I was trying to come, is what I meant. Number six, Dipper Pines, Gravity Falls. Whoa, I have a really big head. Like a smaller, more childish Sherlock Holmes, Dipper Pines is one of the protagonists of Gravity Falls and he helps solve the many mysteries that occur in the town. Known for their pale skin and bad attitudes, these creatures are often mistaken for teenagers. Beware, Gravity Falls is nefarious. <gasps> Sup? Zombie! Always on the lookout for the next big riddle, Dipper is agile and attentive, often finding mundane situations lacking in stimulation. I guess I can be kind of paranoid sometimes and... Wait, what? <laughs> While his twin sis Mabel is also great, Dipper is brave and goal-oriented, which makes him both a good role model and an entertainer for children. All you gotta do is point and shoot, like this. Run! On top of that, we actually don't even know his real name, which adds a nice hint of mystery to an already fascinating character. We're not gonna get jealous and turn on each other like the clones in the movies, are we? Dipper, please. This is you you're talking about. Plus, hey, you can always just disintegrate me with water. Yeah. Number five, Mordecai and Rigby, regular show. You ticked me off. Ah, dude, no, look at me. Look at me! Too good together to separate. Mordecai and Rigby are a fantastic duo that adds both hilarity and heart to the great series known as Regular Show. Not, Not setting, setting up the chairs, chairs next time. time. Not, Not setting, setting up the chairs, chairs next time. time. Ugh. Just set up the chairs. Mordecai is an anthropomorphic blue jay, while Rigby is an anthropomorphic brown raccoon. And they both work together as groundskeepers at the park. Benson's gonna drop his balls when he sees how good we set up these chairs. He's gonna be all like, oh no, my gumballs. <laughs> yeah, we rule at setting up the chairs. Well, work isn't quite the right word, as they often slack off, but at least their shenanigans make for some memorable hilarity. I can't trust you guys with something actually important. You're always slacking off. You calling us slackers? Did he, did you? He's calling us slackers. However, they're also good friends that stick by each other despite their differences, and this makes them a great pairing both in terms of their humor and their chemistry. Don't touch that cake. It's a medical emergency! You just ate a sandwich! Are you a doctor now? Did you go to medical school in the past five minutes? Number four, Cora, the legend of Cora. Thank you all for believing in me. In this acclaimed American animated series, Cora acts as the modern incarnation of the Avatar. Amon has been lying to you. The spirits didn't give him the power to take people's bending away. He uses blood bending to do it. Amon is a waterbender. Korra rarely shows fear as she is strong and perfectly capable of holding her own in a heated battle. You're the only ones who are gonna need a hospital. And for your sake, I hope there's one nearby. Who do you think you are? Why don't you come and find out? She's also a great character to watch develop and change. We witness her learning to master her skills, but also while she suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder due to the events of the story. You said you saw your past enemies. Now, why do you think that is? I don't know. Because they've made me and a lot of other people suffer. She's not only a terrifically strong female character, but three-dimensional and flawed as well, which makes her a more well-rounded individual that adults can appreciate and enjoy. I saw a lot of the city today, and it's totally out of whack. I understand now why you need to stay. Republic City does need you, but it needs me too. Number three, Tina Ruth Belcher, 
Bob's Burgers. You hear me, Tina? Yes, I wear glasses, not hearing aids, Mom. While Tina's monotonous and extremely low voice can prove irritating to some, there's no denying the fandom she has amassed throughout Bob's Burgers' run. I'm gonna take a nap under a warm tortilla and then eat my way out when I wake up. I've heard of a power nap, but a flower nap? Because tortillas are made of flour. He's under a tortilla. The geek of the family, Tina is an eccentric character. What with her love of writing erotic fan fiction and her complicated relationship with zombies. Well, hello. Funny seeing you here. Whoa, double trouble. We didn't even mention her fascination with touching people's butts, which she writes about in her journal. Tina reached towards Jimmy Jr.'s butt. Your lips say no, but your butt says yes. This is hilarious! It's not meant to be hilarious. It's supposed to be erotic. Maybe you don't understand it. However, her eccentricities are what make her who she is. And what she is, is one of the more unique and original characters on television. I'm talking about Jimmy Jr.'s Valentine card. Here, Tina. From? No! My heart was murdered by the word from. Number two, Sterling Archer, Archer. Commence operation something about I rescue Lana and she begs me to take her back so then Zero commits suicide. Voice actor H. John Benjamin has been taking the cartoon world by storm for the last few years. This is evidenced by the fact that he also voices the terrific character of Bob from Bob's Burgers. You fail at marriage, you fail at family, your kids are failures, and you're fat. But Archer has the restaurant owner beat thanks to the titular protagonist's crass behavior and diversion from the norm. Oh, oh, there's not enough liquor and therapy in the world to undo that. Oh, I touched my mother's dildo. As an intelligence agency spy, Archer is a little less professional than James Bond. And he's also extremely egotistical. So when you filled out your insurance forms, you weren't thinking about my tan, muscular arms or my ass in the combat firing stance? No! I wasn't! He often doesn't take his job very seriously, and only takes interest in the women and the alcohol that come with it. Bloody Mary, full of vodka, blessed are you among cocktails. Pray for me now, and at the hour of my death, which I hope is soon. Amen. His vulgarity and unlikable attitude may be hard to watch for some, but they make him hilarious, enjoyable, and unique to everyone else. Lana, your eyes are amazing. Archer. I mean, not compared to your tits, but... Ow! Oh! Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Six, hold on. Holiday, six is down. Six is down. This is all your fault. Surprise! Hi, I'm Pinkie Pie, and I threw this party just for you. Were you surprised? Were you? Were you? <laughs> Number one, Jake the Dog and Finn the Human, Adventure Time. Hey, seriously, man, I'm your bro. Bros are supposed to tell bros everything all the time. What are you and Bubblegum up to? Is everything all right? A surprise hit that has taken the internet by storm. Adventure Time has gained high ratings thanks to the chemistry between a human named Finn and his dog slash adoptive brother, Jake. I'm afraid! Ah! Jake, get me out of the water! Now, Jake, now! Now! Ah! The brothers from another mother are popular with children because they're so hilarious together but they've also found a surprise audience in teens and adults, largely due to their unique personalities and the unique style in which they're animated. And also swear to only speak in rhymes. Speak in rhymes all the times. I swear. And pigs have hair. While antagonist the Ice King also stands out. No one sucks the life from my penguins except me. And maybe polar bears, because that's just nature, Gunter. It's Finn and Jake that have not only proved popular with cosplayers, but have also become a modern cultural phenomenon. You did it. You conquered your fear. What? You're at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> maybe we should celebrate on land. Do you agree with our list? What animated character from the first half of the 2010s is your favorite? Get him! Stay back! Stay back! Yeah. For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. My crotch is itchy. Come here, let me see. Linda, not now. All no, right. let's Show all see later. it. No! I'm just not sure if I'll be any good on the grill with just one free hand.